Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Team Seven. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the microphone for you, and there is some accident happened to my camera just minutes ago. Okay. Now, Team Number Eight, can we can we have two minutes from your team? One or at least. <coughs> All right, German. Welcome back. <coughs> you need to speak up. Yes. Okay, thank you, German. Thank you very much. We give you our applause of faith. Now we have finished the first round of two minutes from each team. And on to 15 minutes time for each team to organize yourself. And then we give you the microphone for the second round of sharing. This time, 10 minutes for each team and each member has to speak up. All right. Good Lord, Team Six. Hi, Ben.
You still have 10 more minutes. Make sure you study the teacher's message I released today or this week to help you to understand the meaning of the team discussion forum. Also, the blog, a little bit about the wiki, it's already from last week's message, all right? This is the last piece of music, and then we're going to the second round of the show.
how she is here. Little Johnson. Johnson. Johnson is not that great. Zero. Thank you. Austin. Austin. Thank you. Knight. Not that great. Edward is here. Jerton is here. Farina is not that great. Fitness. Thank you. Kelvin. Is to use the wiki. I see in from your wiki that a lot of good information already. So you can see that from different teams wiki. That is from team one. Okay, that is from team one. So let's take a look at team number two. That is team number two. You need to work harder. Team number three. Okay, you see a lot of good work. Team number four. Alright, so you still need to work a little bit harder. Yes. Team number five. Okay, team number five, you need to work harder. Team number six. Okay, good. You start doing something now. Alright. Okay, team number eight. Okay. So may I invite team number one? So we have the microphone now. So team number one, are you ready? Not yet. Okay, give me five minutes. Team number two. Okay, team number two, are you ready? You still want five more minutes or when you want to get it? Okay, here, come, thanks. Very important. Oscar, Edward, Benny, and... Um, this, this is Benny, this is uh, Iris, Iris, thank you, Kevin. All right, team number two. Good morning, everybody. We are team two. Um, I'm Edward. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about my individual journal. Um, my journal's topic is what is information fraud. The um, Canada government published a few steps for people to against identity state. Um, first of all, we should be able to recognize what is information fraud and some. Um, Typical words or phrase usually appear in in a phishing email. Uh, it is very important for us to recognize them. And then, if we encounter any suspicious email, we should know where we should report to. 
yeah, it's part of my journal. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Good afternoon, everybody. For me, I almost finished my journal and find some information about my topic. That was in the... It's okay. As the case... You just need to speak up, yes. Okay. As the case of Regina Eve's fans, a car has been had. I found some ways as a reminder that how to identify others' email or information is true or credible. All I need is to sum up the information and continue our team with the Thank you, Iris. It's for Billy. Okay, Billy. I saw the work on the individual channel last week, and I work about the passwords and how in the password is important in our life. And we need to purchase our password from the other people. Thank you, Oscar. I, I have to give you a big boost for this team. For I could see you coming together again this time. Okay, thank you, team number two. May I invite team number three? You need some more time, okay? So, there got to be something wrong with the mic. Because you're very responsible. Uh, hello, hello, I am Kevin. Uh, last night I finished my individual uh, journal. Okay. Uh, the topic is what is hacking and cracking. I think I have studied about uh, hacking and cracking difference. Thank you, thank you. Okay, for me, uh, I think I have nothing to talk about the learning function as uh, we have we have said before. Yes, we just finished the uh, report, the final report, but we do not start the uh, PowerPoint yet. Okay. And I think this time we face a big challenge on time management as there are many midterm and yes. other yes. projects. Right. Mixed together, 
So, uh, if you feel the time to shoot, but we will try our best. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. And we have a lot of midterms. Thank you. So this is already team number four. Team number five, are you ready? Okay, thank you. Ian, Takashi, and also Venice. Just hold it, yes. Hold it, hold it, it's good enough, yes. Um, we are team number five. Uh, last week we had a consultative we had the finish of our team project and I've also finished my proposal I think. And the title of the show is about hacking and cracking uh parallel and to read about and it told me that Maybe have something to change is better. Yeah. Finish. Okay, thank you, Takashi. Hello, I'm Linus. I finished my personal project and brought a. I hope in Saturday we can finish all my team project in this weekend. Thank you, Venus. And we have a. Uh, I have a. Uh, I'm at. Um, I finished the, the report and I think and I have finished my proposal too but I think the proposal need have, have a little change and we I'm at my team member and we need to talking about the Uh, just talking about proposal and discussion how to improve it in today. Okay, thank you, Ian. It's a big challenge again because the time is running out. So, may I invite team number six now? Uh, but they're not here, so we thank you, team number seven, now for getting in touch. And are you ready, team number seven? Okay. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Sunny, and thank you, Iris. And um, we are in seven and we are going to do our PowerPoint and report. This Wednesday, and my general topic is hacking and cracking. So my problem, my general will mainly tell you that the difference between hacking and cracking, and what kind of person who will participate in hacking, and the, the reason why they are doing this. Thank you, thank you, Iris. Uh, my general topic is wireless network security. And this topic is about our group topic. And I will share some information about how to ensure wireless network security. Thank you, Maggie. Uh, my, my general talk about web attack information show through social networking and the increasing business, business adoption of the web as a means of doing business and the delivery service. Uh, webs are often tech uh, cause hatch loss. Uh, we will have a meeting tomorrow. Uh, we will organize our journal. It's all. 
Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, Maggie, and thank you, Iris. It's very courageous of you to do all of these. Oh. Welcome back. you return. <laughs> so we would like to pass the microphone to you now to help us understand what Team 6 is up to. Yeah. And you must have a meeting with them, right? Yeah. And, uh, because it looks like they have been waiting for you and you are not here, they left. Oh, they left? They came here? Oh, okay. Okay, um, first, my groupmates, or uh, I don't know why they are not here. <laughs> because we have a, a, a group in the WeChat. And they asked uh, Johnson, are you, are you coming? So I, I thought they were all here. <laughs> You, Johnson. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> don't worry, we love you. Okay. Then, uh, uh, actually, we, we didn't have a meeting uh, last weekend, and still we we are we are a little bit a little bit confused on our topics, and we will uh, be working out the problems. Thank you, Johnson. I know it's a hard time for all of you because you have so many midterms these days. It's okay. Uh, team number eight, are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, yes, thank you very much. because the report is the based on the other project and before the Wednesday Wednesday we will finish the uh, personal work and in Friday we will finish the PPT and wiki okay. Thank you Sophie uh, um, I'm finished my individual report this this topic is wireless network security and he's talking about some hack in wireless and talking about some how, can, uh, how to set up professional password. Yes. Great. Thank you. And uh, my topic is uh, hacking and cracking, so I, I'm still doing my journal, but uh, in my journal, I will do. So I will talk about what's the difference uh, about getting and tracking. And as I said, uh, we have already found some video about the but okay, so I generally talk about this. Thank you, Ivaldo. Yeah, and my honor Jenny is the contamination technique and technique and law making and I think the technology is improving every day and it 
definitely need to improve our law to to fit the needs of the new technology and to protect our money and our property. Also, safe. Yeah. This is this is what we have to and right. It's okay. Thank you, German. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Ivano. And thank you, Joe, right? Uh, zero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, we have gone through the seven teams now. And in the middle of the sharings of team number eight, we welcome back Fleming. As I say, I say hello to him at the beginning on an empty chair. Now he's back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, team number six. We have two members now. So may I invite the last team, team number one? Are you ready? Thank you. Thank you, Kira. All of you have done a very good amount of work. And uh, Kiwi, yeah? That's all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I really have to appreciate all of your teams here and your members' courage to share. Because if you look at what we've gone through in the past two weeks, including this week, and we have one more day to share this Friday, it's not easy. Because every day, the team has to stand up here to tell the whole class what you have done, what individual members is doing and have done. It's quite pressing, right? And you always want to get things done. But sometimes it's not easy. You're, you're bound here by this return, you're bound there by that return, and you have all the members who cannot meet. 
Well, life is not easy. That's a very interesting picture of what it's like to work in the real world. Because in the project team, when we have to report to the manager, to the tracker, what we are up to every week in the real world, this is what it's like. Except that we might be sitting in our room with a lot of good facility, and one or two manager or half who come here to listen to how this team is performing. At the end of the period, the manager will say, well, we need to face out this team in this project because they're not up to where we are. And a lot of things happen this way. And you have to keep your electronic record of how productive you are from day one to day end of the project. What have you achieved? What have you done? Uh, the wiki is an example of things like this. In the real world, the world, we need to keep track of what we are doing. We need to report what we are doing. We need to tell people how productive we are in terms of the number of products we, we finish. <coughs> well, I think um, before you step into the real world, the world, when you are promoted to the second year of your study, when you take different courses, different professors with different requirements, and sometimes uh, you just need to submit a project towards the end of the semester. But most of the time, you need to keep a good record of what you're doing and do presentations in, the, in, in between the milestone. And all of these, in this course, you have a taste of it. Okay? I'm, uh, I'm quite serious in the sense that if you take this experience uh, carefully and think about what you have been doing, it will be a big plus to your further study next semester or the year after because you need to learn how to manage your time, how to manage your work and understand uh, where in, in, in the work that you're doing you need help and you must get that help with others. Okay, so um, thank you very much and we have spent a good amount of time here uh, helping you to, to take this uh, rounds of sharing in class and sometimes it's not easy. Um, you know, I'm very much thrilled by this class because most of you come back to the classroom even though you know that you have to stand up to share. Uh, in the four years of teaching these classes, normally when, it, when we come to the learning contract number three, this is a period when you have a lot of return. Normally, only 50% of the students will come back to classes. But today, I can see more than 80% of students there, and actually more than 90. And every class, although we have this sharing is going on, we still have a good number of people coming back. But this is a very important sign of, wow, I have to support my students, even though they know that they have to do something. So as a teacher, I'm so, uh, I'm so thankful for this kind of class. Now, if you look at the teacher's message that I sent you today, I tell you something about teamwork. And I said, student needs to set a law that means ground rules for the teamwork. That means if you miss the teamwork, you have to face up to the team's penalty. Law plays a significant role in the success of student teams and actually professional teams. The team member must see the values of laws, the rules, and encourage one another to treat on a state and positive law for the team. We are learning, we are doing something good for the team, even though you're not as productive as possible, it's okay. But you've got to be there to sort of support. Such as everyone does his or her own share, and not on a law that will undermine the success of the team, that will undermine means reduce the possibility of success in your team. So, what does it mean? Such as, let's get this completed as quickly as possible regardless of the quality expected. Well, we're not talking about qualities here when you do the sharing. We're talking about your, 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 your sense of responsibility, your sense of support for the teams, all right? So it's, don't worry much about, if you cannot do anything good, it will get penalty. Student needs to facilitate team cohesiveness. That means you need to gel together. You need to support your team members. 
team members have been given the time and activities to build connections among themselves. Making personal choices to accept and get along with other members needs to greater cooperation and productivity. That's very true. You can, you can take a look at this ladies' team, all right? How, how intensive they've been working on the project the moment they enter the room. Each one of them is focusing so much on the work they're doing with the computer. So this is an example of this. Well, um, student needs to understand that their own personal success can come about only through team success. Knowing that the peers are relying on you is a powerful motivator for team work. If I cannot get my work done, my member cannot get his or her work done. So I have to get it done. I have to make sure I'm not stumbling the whole teams. Knowing that peers are relying on you as a powerful motivator for teamwork, students need to see that what will be evaluated is not only completing the task, but the effectiveness of teamwork members and working together to reach the goal. So you see that how Stanley has been holding the team member together. And he is doing a good job. Uh, it's very interesting. And every team you got the key figures over there, right? And uh, it's very interesting. And look at the way Oscar has been so much patient last time. Even though he, he was the only person on that table. We need to give him a big support. And this time, we now remember the back. Students need to learn how to give constructive criticism or meaningful feedback to one another. Uh, this is one of the most important aspects of working with others in a lifelong learning skill. That's why I say, Johnson, when you're here, even the microphone say, yeah, boots for at least two minutes there. And so you're here. Okay? We love you. We support you. All right? And now we have time. Okay? Now, the next thing you need to be uh, aware of is the team discussion forum. Again, this is the set of questions I gave to you when I break the block, because the block is based on a topic of interest you selected. And when you discuss something about the topic, you also need to check if your member has at least mentioned some of these questions and provide some of the information required of by the answer of each of these questions or at least one or two, right? So when we do a discussion forum, these are very important guidelines to help your fellow member to reflect on what he said. Don't do anything when you see 50 pages of journals posed there for you to respond. You can't do anything like this. Ask your friend or your learning member. Make it simple for our discussions, all right? So it's very good today. I'm going to stop you today. And I wish when you come back on Friday, is one day before the submission statement, you have up to November <coughs> the 2nd. That means next Monday evening at 11.55 to do it. Next Monday, it's a holiday. You will have to come back here next Tuesday. Now, may I ask you this? Um, I would like, you know that you have a midterm next Friday, okay? But next Tuesday will be the time when you look at the schedules, when you have to come here to do your team-based presentations of the learning contract number three. And for each class, we can entertain, I think, um, 75 minutes, at most two teams, okay? Because 30 minutes per team at most. So we have two teams. So next Tuesday, I'm going to invite two teams from you out of A, to do your in-class presentations. You have 30 minutes to do it, okay? You can selectively demonstrate a digital story, but you need to organize yourself using the wiki, all right? So when you do the in-class presentations for the 30 minutes, you need to use the wiki to do it. Now, which two teams are going to do it? I don't know, but what I'm going to do is I do a lucky draw, okay? So lucky draw, two teams next Tuesday. All right, and then we were going to have two more classes, three more classes to finish the eight teams, okay? So you will have 
presentation study next Tuesday and then the Tuesday and Friday after next week and then the Tuesday and Friday after next week. Okay? So each time we're going to lucky draw two teams. Alright? Each time. Alright? So so are you are you are you ready for that? No. Lucky draw? Or do you want to do sign up for that? <laughs> I just tell you if I say sign up, no one is going to sign up next Tuesday. So, but uh, let's just make it simple, right? And an in-class presentation, you, there is nothing to lose. There is nothing to lose. There's only you have to gain something, okay? Because I said uh, after learning contract number three, each one of you should have been doing four times of in-class sharing plus one times of in-class presentations. That means five times. Five times means out of the ten times of in-class participations, you have already earned ten points out of the 100 points final. As long as you do it, you earn points, okay? So the sooner you do it, the better it is. And you need another five times to earn the 20 points of in-class participations to boost up your grade. So it's important that you just get it. All right? But I do not want uh, to just to give you the chance to do garbage in, garbage out. You see what does it mean? I want to give you a chance to do something really good on your own. Okay? So you need to make the best use of the chances given in class. All right? So any questions? All right, let me switch off the camera and I'm going to answer questions. Thank you very much. Thank you.